Hello everybody, today we'll be talking about Master's Theorem. Master's Theorem gives us a closed form solution to recurrence relations. It's important to note this only occurs when A is greater than or equal to 1, B is greater than 1, and K is greater than or equal to 0. We'll be given a T of N in the form T of N equals A, T of N divided by B plus F of N. Our F of N will be equal to the format of theta, N raised to the K, log raised to the p times n. We may have forms of f of n that do not contain our log raised to the p. For example, we may be presented with t of n equals 16t n divided by 2 plus n to the fifth. We know that our f of n would be equal to n to the fifth. However, this does not directly correspond with the format that we talked about earlier. We can say our new f of n format would be n raised to the fifth log raised to the zero power n raised to the zero power. Simplifying this, we would see that it directly correlates to our f of n equaling n raised to the fifth power. We know that whatever log is being raised to, that is what our p is. And since log is being raised to zero, this means our p is going to be equal to zero. From our t of n, we can find our a and b value. From our f of n, we'll be able to find k and p. We will use log b of a and k to compare our main cases. If we have any subcases, that will be determined by our p-value. Let's look at our first example. Here we have t of n equals 2t n over 2 plus n. We need to start off by finding our a and b. We see that our a and b value are both going to be 2. Now we need to find our k. As we discussed earlier, our k is found from our f of n. The exponent that n is being raised to is k. Here our k is just 1. Now we need to find which case we fall into. Comparing log b of a and 1, we see that log b of a is equal to k. That means we fall in case 2. But now we have a subcase we need to find. So let's find p. Here we see our f of n is equal to n to the first power, log to the 0 power, n to the 0 power. That means that our p is going to be 0 here. Since our p is 0, that means we have our first subcase. p is going to be greater than negative 1. Plugging it into the format that we're given for that particular subcase, we see our answer is theta of n log n. For our second example, we have 16t n over 2 plus n. First, let's find our a and b we see that our a is going to be 16 and our b is going to be 2. We need to now find our k. Let's find our k value. Here we can say again that our n is going to be raised to the first power, making our k 1. Comparing the two, log b of a is going to be greater than k, meaning we fall in our first case. Since there are no subcases here, we can assume that we do not need to find our p value. That makes our answer for this solution, theta, of n raised to the fourth power. Our final problem reads t of n equals 2t n over 2 plus n cubed log squared. Here we see that our f of n does contain a log. We find our a and b. a equals 2 and b equals 2. We plug that into log b of a and we get 1. Now let's find our k value. Here we see that our f of n is equal to n cubed log squared times n to the zero power. We can see that our p is whatever log is being raised to. In this case, log is being raised to the second power, and our k, once again, is whatever n is being raised to. p equals 2 and k equals 3. Let's find our case. Comparing the two, we see log b of a is less than k. That means we fall in case 3. Now in case 3, we've already identified our p as 2. That means we fall in the first subcase. 2 is greater than or equal to 0 making our solution theta of n cubed log squared n. Thank you for watching. I hope this aided in your understanding of Master's Theorem.